Today's lesson is about to-dos. I will show you where you can create them, how to create them, what kind of options you have with them, and uh, how they can be really used uh, easily. A new to-do is kind of easy. You go on the plus sign and you create a new to-do. That's basically the generic place and that uh, will give you a good uh, identification where I can get to anything. As you can see here, it says the company name, but it looks for an opportunity and a ticket. So a to-do can be done on either way. Now, the majority of the case, you will probably use it from a uh, ticket. So we're going to see what we can find over there. Uh, we have to create a, uh, we have to use a client. And I'm not going to fill out right now anything. I'm going to see if I can find a ticket. Be in, uh, an open ticket in a system that I can use. And we'll just use what this ticket, for example. And by default, it already filled out now the contact name as you saw. Hopefully you saw it. You can always re re rewind the video and see that back. But I just selected the tickets and then it came up with, uh, with the contact name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an action type. And I'm going to choose one of these ones. Now there's a couple of more you can add to these ones. Uh, but I'm going to say, uh, let's say I want to do a meeting follow up. It's very important that it should say calendar and to-do views. Because what you want to have is that it shows up on the calendar. If you just, for example, do a to-do for an opportunity update, it won't show on your calendar. So make sure that when you select something, you select the one that says it says a calendar. In this case, maybe I want to do a phone call. I want to have it on my calendar and on the to-do views. So I click that one. I'll basically say it's going to be for uh, for now. That's that's going to be a good time for today. And that's basically it. I'll just leave it like that. I'll just press save and close. Once it's saved, I'm going to go back to my calendar. And then that to do should pop up on my calendar. And as you can see over here, this little blue one is the, the to do that I just created. And it's open right now. I can basically do an edit to do. I can view the to do. I right clicked on it, by the way. Let me just do the edit to do. And you can maybe now, because it's on your calendar, you can say, okay, well, the actual time was maybe it was a little bit later. And it was still 2045. Alt and left ADM. So you can put your notes in there. And then always make sure that once you're done with it, you say, I completed the to do. That way it blocks it off and it basically gives you automatic time off of currently right now. Okay. That's the very good thing of this whole uh, setup. And then you go up and you press save and close. And now you can see there's that little green check mark. It, uh, it moved, by the way, the, the, the item to the correct date of, uh, of where you did the actual work. And it has a green check mark, and now you're done with it. Uh, make sure that whenever you do a to do, uh, it's a good reminder on your calendar. It's not like a service call. Service calls being explained in other items. But this is a good way of, of adding something on your calendar and, and having a follow-up. Again, uh, this is also another way. Once you're on your calendar, you can also uh, create another new to-do right away from here. Right-clicking in the space where you want to be, and it will open up a new page. See if I can also do it the same way on a opportunity. See if there's an opportunity in the system right now there's no opportunity in the system uh, that would mean i have to create one um this doesn't give me an option from here but you can also create a uh a to do on an opportunity and that's of course much more handy for the sales guys uh within you there's also the way of doing a notification making sure that you let somebody know that you created the to do somebody asks you hey can you uh, call that uh, that particular client or follow up you do it, client is not there, then you basically say, okay, I give a quick notification uh, to the particular person, A, maybe that you created that to do, so the person knows that you have it scheduled, and B, uh, once you have a, a resolution or you have a follow-up, then also the person can be notified uh, what has been done. Make sure that you have the proper settings. You say, okay, it was, for example, uh, you could do it under resources, also easy. Maybe you can even do the whole technician's work group by selecting it here. Notification template, that's the default template. Maybe you have already created one uh, internally that has an, is a nicer layout. And you can use the one as well. And in the end, you press the save and close. 
The easy thing too is of these kind of to-dos is like you see over here, I hover over it and the little movement button comes up. And this way I can still move it to another day. Of course it asks me to change the day. It's basically rescheduling the service call and it's been moved. Now, although it was a completed one, technically you should not be able to move it, uh, but I just wanted to show you that there's still a possibility to uh, easily drag and drop it to this particular time. Instead of going in there and adding it manually, you can drag it to the, to the correct day and the correct time to reflect when it actually did happen. I think this is a good, uh, good introduction in to do's. Play with it. It's a very handy feature. There's even, uh, once you do items, there's even items where you can have a, uh, a recurring uh, new to-do uh, easily scheduled from it. And that way you keep momentum on stuff and things don't fall to the crack because it will pop up on your calendar. In workflow rules, we can even show you uh, separately that there's also an automatic way of scheduling them. But that will be uh, handled in the workflow rules. I hope uh, this gives you a good insight in the to-dos, what they can do for you and where they can be found. Um, you can also still uh, look into your, uh, basically your whole uh, desk and tickets queue. If you go over there, it will pop up a uh, screen. And the second tab has also my to-dos open. So that's another way. If you have a lot of to-dos, maybe you forgot to complete them. Then this is also a second tab where you can find those to-dos that were assigned to you and you can complete them. Any more questions, please visit our Facebook group and leave a comment there. Thank you.